5 minute installation video how to install Jomu i4 Pro Tankless Smart Toilet. 1. Check the accessories. 2. Check the tools. 3. Check the installation environment. Turn on the ordinary angle valve for 15s to test the water pressure. The water pressure should be 0.15 MPa to 0.75 MPa. Flow rate test for the ordinary angle valve. The water coming out of the angle valve within tens should be more than 2.5 L. Simple test for flow rate. The flow rate will be acceptable if the water coming out of the angle valve within tens can fill 5 500 milliliters water bottles. Both the water pressure and the flow rate should meet the requirements. If not, please check water supply valve controlled by the property management company, or the main water valve in the house is provided with a flow regulator. If the water pressure or the flow rate does not meet the requirement, please evaluate and determine whether to install a booster pump or not. For the installation of a booster pump, refer to step 7. 4. Install the toilet. Inspect and clean up the waste pipe. If there's a trap, destroy the water seal in it in subsequent installation as instructed at 250 of this video. Clean the mounting surface. Measure the installation location. Check rough in and diameter of the waste pipe. The waste pipe should be taller than the tile surface. Remain at 10 mm height above the tile surface. Install the special ball valve for the product. Wrap the PTFE tape. Install the filter. Align the toilet waste pipe with the PVC waste pipe. Level the toilet with the floor. Make marks on the floor on both sides of the toilet. Place the ceiling ring on the waste pipe. Mount the main body of the toilet. Make sure that it is leveled with the floor. Connect the inlet hose. Connect the filter outlet to the electronic cover inlet hose which is smaller. Connect the ball valve outlet to the flushing water inlet hose which is bigger. Turn on the ball valve for power on and a water test. In the case of splashing and flushing, to install a flow regulator at the ball valve outlet. When installing the flow regulator, insert its bigger end into the ball valve outlet. Make its smaller end face outside. Check leakproofness of the ball valve outlet with dry cloth. Apply silicon sealant around the toilet bottom and make it stand for 24H. Five. Install the remote control and do pairing for it. Check installation location of the remote control. Mount the remote control batteries. Wipe the wall. Remove the double-sided adhesive tape protective film on back of the remote control holder. Press the double-sided adhesive tape onto the wall for some time till the remote control holder is firmly stuck onto the wall. Pull out the electric leakage protection plug. Press and hold the stop button on the remote control for threes till the LED indicators 1, 3 and 5 begin to flash. Release the stop button on the remote control. Insert the electric leakage protection plug. Put the remote control by right side of the toilet for pairing. If the five LED indicators on the remote control remain lit, it suggests successful pairing. The remote control can be used after the five LED indicators have gone out about three seconds later. Six. Add foaming agent. Remove the decoration cover and the filler cap. Insert the adapter into mouth of the foaming agent bottle. Pour the foaming agent via the filler. Mount the filler cap. Mount the decoration cover after aligning its locating pin with the slot on the rear cover. Wait till it is absorbed by the magnet. Press and hold the foaming button on right side of the lid for about threes. Release it upon sounding of the buzzer. About 30 seconds later, the toilet will have one automatic foaming. Click the foaming button on right side of the lid to test the foaming function. 
7. Install a booster pump. Cut off the power source and the water source. Install the 5 hole socket. Connect water inlet of the booster pump to the ball valve. Connect water outlet of the booster pump flow meter to the flushing water inlet hose which is bigger. Put the booster pump and the adapter into the ceramic. Insert the adapter plug into the 5-hole socket.